Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play that I'll be doing for Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. Um, before, I was playing as King Aegon um, in Aegon's Conquest. Playing as a huge, strong character with a big dragon and loads of power. And that was uh, a few thousand years before where I am right now. Right now we are playing in the... I guess you could kind of call it present day. Uh, we are playing in Robert's Rebellion. Basically, um, Robert has risen up in rebellion against the Mad King for what he did to um, <coughs> Edward's father and brother. He burned them both alive, uh, obviously, so Ned Stark, being the loyal companion, is following Robert in his wars, as well as the Vale and the Riverlands against the Mad King. And everything is, is exactly the same as it was then, but I'm playing through it as my own. And we will be going through this as House Dustin. And if you only watch the show, you don't know much about them. But if you've read the books, you might have heard about them a little bit. They are a somewhat prominent High Lord. Um, <clears throat> not very major to the stories. We haven't heard much about them. But we will be playing as William... Dustin. He was one of the seven, I believe, that um, in the books in the show went with Ned to the Tower of Joy, which is down here in Dorne. And um, <clears throat> well, I'm going to see if I can replicate that, but see if I can make get this guy to last through the war. And uh, I'm just going to get it started right after we get our council and stuff in order. And uh, same thing with the other one. I'm going to play this as long as it will go. See how interesting it is, see if it's fun, because play as a small lord is kind of fun. Getting into all the intrigue of the war and stuff. So let's go for hunting. He's, he's a decent warrior. Dutiful and trained. Strong, attractive, gregarious, just, authoritative, and cynical. So he's a good man, strong man. But he is somewhat an unbeliever, you know. He doesn't really, uh believe in the gods or blame them for his troubles or all that. He just, he's, just, he's, a, he's a realist, I guess. And for ambition, we're going to have a son, because we don't have an heir currently. Our heir is currently our... What is he to us? He is a kinsman. I guess he's like my father's brother's son or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get started right now. Uh, let's get our council in order. Oversee province. Let's get this out of the way real quick. We'll take care of that in a second. Now, we don't want our master at arms fighting. Uh, collect taxes. Scheme. Sorry if I'm kind of quiet, but it's late at my house, so I don't want to be too loud. Alright. <clears throat> Ned Stark's sister, Lyanna, has been kidnapped by Rhaegar Targaryen and his brothers and father cruelly executed by the Mad King Ares. So he has followed Robert Baratheon into rebellion, and asked we accompany himself in the suburbs in his struggle. <clears throat> and us, we're a just man. We know what the Mad King did was wrong, so we would follow him without any second thoughts. Alrighty. We're currently leading an army. 3,000 men, that's not bad. Few Riverland Lords has has uh, sided with the Mad King. Yeah, he's just a mess. Tyrant, fire obsessed, proud, slothful, arbitrary, stubborn, paranoid. Just awful. His heir, however, is pretty darn good. <clears throat> Rhaegar Targaryen, formerly known as the Last Dragon. Brilliant commander, quick, attractive, poet. Skilled fighter, knight, scholar, kind, and brave. Yeah, he's pretty good. We need to watch out for that in case we ever get into battle with him. Okay. And right now, we just wait, kind of. I am going to start fabricating claims, though. Um, who can we actually take if we get into a fight with? We can take the flints. We can start fabricating a claim on Cherwell, I believe. Yeah, Cherwell. Unless it's ours. Ooh, no, that's Howland. 
We do not want to deal with Howland. He's kind of too powerful for us right now. Let's go for Grey Can. Or Grey Cran or something like that. <sighs> Again. Okay. Never mind. That's under Howland. I don't know. I do not want to mess with him real quick. Let's go for real water crossing. Then we're gonna mess with the rills. Uh, yeah, we yeah we will. We will. They're the ones. <coughs> so for a little bit, this is gonna be kind of boring because we are fighting in the war, but we're a small lord. Not a lot depends on us. So, mm, let's get him married to a fray, I guess. Just get everyone married so our family can continue to grow. Her married to Jerry and Lannister. He's already married. Okay, then there we go. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. This is gonna be boring for a while. Let's see how the war goes. Okay, so the Targaryen army is finally going to intercept. Intercept uh, Robert, wherever he is. Sir Richard. He is fighting all the way over here in Potting Field. Yeah, but so far Tyron has stayed out on this, which is really good for us. Okay, Craig and Dustin is now legal age. And he turned out awful. We'll get him married all the same. Uh, not, not good marriages though. I'll wait, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I just got moved into my house, so recording will be off for a little bit, but once I get it under control, I'll be pretty regular. Maybe every every other day I'll have an episode of this, or League of Legends, or something like that. And if I get my recording times down right, I won't have to be, good, be so quiet, you know? Yeah, th these are going to work out good for us. If we can get an air as fast as possible, then it'll be okay if we die. I'm hoping we don't die, obviously, but worst comes to worst. Gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so the Northerners have finally gathered their armies and they're marching south. Who currently controls the wall? Jantos, whatever that is. I don't know how to pronounce that. Corgal or something? I don't know. The air is went and stout. So some pretty decent warriors. Pretty decent warriors on the wall. No king in the north. Or king be on the wall, I guess you would say. Is Tormund here? Oh no, where's Tormund? He has to be here. So draw. There he is. He just doesn't have any land. Oh man, I would have loved to have Giants Bane in my, um... What the heck is this? Oh, blank. This is wonderful for 20 piety. Yeah, I hope it didn't just say something bad. Oh, looks like JR is still uh, where he is. JR hasn't been exiled yet. That'd be cool to see how he turns out. Toggle's special interests. Oh, man. <clears throat> well, isn't this magical? <laughs> uh, this is the only thing I don't like about playing a small lord. You don't do much. I'm just sitting here waiting for either a claim on some Rizwell land or just waiting for the war to end. And it won't be ending in a while considering there's only 2% in our favor. He has a Dornish, the Reach, some Riverman Lords, some Reachman Lords, some Veilmen. 
Oh yeah, Mark of Goldtown. He's pretty cool. He was one of the first to be put down by Robert, though. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay, I'm just gonna take a drink. This is the waiting game. <clears throat> but yeah, these videos have been doing really, really good. If you take into account all my league ones. Don't do nearly as well in terms of views and stuff, so I'm gonna continue these and see how it goes. But like I said, as I move on, I'll get better and better. The auto quality will get better. Um, stuff like that. Uh oh. Lord Howland Reed is now my rival. That's not good. He's a really good fighter. <laughs> I couldn't try to stop him if I could. So we really want to try avoiding a fight with him. Oh boy, jeez Louise. Let's avoid him at all costs. Benjamin is the current heir. He turned out pretty bad because he didn't get a uh, skilled commander, I think he got. Okay, Lord Edmund of Spearmouth has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning priest mores of gold shills. Sexual preferences. How should I use this juicy information? I'm a just guy, so I think I would just kind of keep out of this, and I'm cynical too, so I wouldn't really care. And I believe I don't have the in-game audio on. Yeah, I don't. Alright, so... We don't have any in-game audio in this one, boys and girls. So you'll have to listen to my wonderful voice this entire time. Fighting across the field, you see an enemy soldier cut off from the others. As you get closer, you realize the enemy soldier is Sir Leslin. Seeing you charge across the field toward him, he turns and flees. You pursue but lose track of him in the chaos. That's right, coward. Run back to Castlewood. Ten morale. So I'm already making a pretty good name for myself as a commander. Fighting next to uh, Lord Howland, wow. Okay. Uh-oh. They, they can't win that fight. The Dornish may not have the biggest army, but their army has the best defensive values out of all of them. Because of all the pikes that they have. <clears throat> I see we just got slaughtered there. But the Riverland, Rivermen are making up for it, they're destroying them. The Wentz still hold Harren Hall. Is Walder alive? Yeah, he is. Oh, that poor crotchety old man. Look at all those kids, they're going off the screen. Ay, 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 I hope he dies soon, I hate him. Baron Dustin. Now we need to have an heir fast. I know we're at war, but we really do. If we don't have one, then we end up dying. We become this guy who's terrible. And his heir, who's even worse. <laughs> yeah, I guess his dad isn't too bad, but he isn't very good. Lady Jane of the Fever. I'd like to have my own son to train to be a warrior, you know? We can raise 2,000 men, though. That's not bad. Jesters, minstrels, acrobats, and dancers all have gathered to perform at the festival. Inviting noises, tempting scents, and alluring sights try to lure people to various dance, performers, and tents. 